It's your boy Big Cass, man. I'm live here in Vietnam City with um, Maserati Santana. Let them know how you living, man. Let them know what you're about. And then definitely let them know your Instagram handle. Facts, man. Well, first of all, y'all go ahead and find and follow me right now at Maserati Santana on Facebook. And also Instagram, Mozzie Bracken 18 is M-A-Z, two C's. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Find and follow me, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel so y'all can see this right now. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm fucking with my homie, you know what I mean? Big Cash, man. And we out here we're doing, we're doing what's up. All right, bro. I ain't going to take up too much of your time. But yeah. I just want to chop it up with you for a second. I know you, um, you kind of... You know, you transition from the music. I heard a lot of your music. Your music is so dope, man. And like I said, one thing I like about it is um, it's kind of like multi-genre. Like, you got some trap joints, some island reggae tones, some just hardcore rap, some R&B, all kind of stuff. So tell them a little bit about, um, you know, your music and, you know, your transition into, you know, how you got your podcast popping off and how you came up in that game and everything. I mean, really, man, like, it was just coming from the trap, really. Like, with me, like... You know what I mean? Like, I know how every other artist be, you know what I'm saying? How you grow up. I ain't taking nothing from nobody and how people grew up. You know what I'm saying? I know how I grew up, and that's my story. You know what I'm saying? I went through a lot of bullshit just to get where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? The system is corrupted, and anybody that know that, man, y'all tap in with me and make sure y'all, you know, really follow me. I gave my Instagram tag and my Facebook tag and my YouTube tag to y'all so y'all can really actually tap in with me. So, you know what I'm saying? To understand what I went through. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't want to hear it from me. You know what I'm saying? But I am an artist. But I'm also something else now. I have multiple things. I wear many hats. You know? I'm a producer. I'm an engineer. I'm a journalist. I'm a TV host. You know what I mean? I'm a CEO. I'm everything, man. So when, so it, when, was, it, when, it, when it comes to me. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, cut you off. I was just over there, you know, with you rocking with your podcast, man, and yeah. it looks so dope, man. I mean, I'm just me, you know, I'm just me for a couple of weeks, but I love what you're doing, man. I see what you're doing, right. and what y'all doing over there is dope. Tell them, like, about the podcast, like, where they can find it, what exactly it is, and um, how you came to link up with the podcast and do your thing, and what's right. your plans for the future with it, where you going to take it to? Yeah, where well, you can find a podcast, well, it's a talk show. In a podcast, you know what I'm saying? We started off as a podcast. It's definitely a talk show. On the Rise TV, make sure you subscribe. That's how you subscribe. You know what I'm saying? On the Rise TV, on YouTube. But basically, how On the Rise TV came in, listen, man, like they, they, the system I told you is corrupted. You know what I'm saying? They put me on a bracelet for murder. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I bonded out of jail and, you know what I mean, came home to my kids, my family, they threw me on a bracelet. They didn't want me to go nowhere. So now I'm stuck in the crib. So now a lot of niggas give up. A lot of females give up. If you have a business or if you're trying to start a business, don't give up because I almost gave up. What I did was I found something positive to come in between the negative. And I started a, and I started a podcast first because I want to rise TV it was a it was a podcast. But it was bigger than a podcast. What I was doing was bigger than a podcast. I was actually sitting down chopping with artists. It became a TV show. I'm like Steve Harvey. You feel me? I'm like Steve Harvey for real. You know what I mean? I don't take away from no other podcast in Fayetteville. You know what I mean? I remember when I was on the bracelet. None of y'all niggas wanted to tap in with me. I don't, I don't know why y'all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Let them come by. Like I said, we we really in Vietnam City. Yeah. But um, I want I want to ask you something. Yeah. Building on that. Like, like I said, I see, I see what you're doing, and like, do you see yourself taking it that? Like, I mean, even from you going from rap to doing this, do you see yourself like hosting like Family Feud, like Steve yeah, Martin? I can, yeah. I see myself hosting anything somebody got a bag about. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. I'm about a bag, and also I have the humor to do that. You know what I'm saying? The sense of humor. I, I have that. You feel me? So at the end of the day, it's like you can't put a. Uh, a limit on me or my skills or my talent what I do my father was talented I get my talent from him and he probably get it from his father you know what I'm saying so it moved down in generations you know what I'm saying this is just what I can do sometimes I was fighting with God so many times because I was just trying to be an artist and God was telling me listen you're more than just an artist so let me let me ask you one question because and I'm, I'm thinking this because I know, you know, from experiences, people going, you know, I was just with Lizzie and we was interviewing Cakes and he was talking yeah. about some similar stuff. So was people, was it, was it kind of faking the funk when all that was going on and you was kind of down and out, you know, maybe couldn't have came up with Bond for too long, but like, how was that situation coming from that? Was people, was people supporting you or was it no, the opposite I mean, of that? 
No, nah, I mean, like I said, I was in there for like two days. Lizzie and, you know what I'm saying? Lizzie and her people came and got me out right away. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, they came and got me out right away. So it was like two days later. And wow. I think and, and I think the other day was because uh, it was like a weekend or some type of shit like that. But uh, they ended up getting me out. When I came home, I was disgusted with myself, with the situation. I was down. I was out. I didn't know what I was going to do. I'm telling y'all niggas the real shit. I didn't know what I was going to do. Nigga, I was mad. I was angry with everybody. Probably creating PTSD. Yeah. But I didn't let it get to me. What I did was I found the positive through all that negativity that I was presented with. People try to make you to be somebody that you ain't. You try to be somebody you ain't. Stop. Because you're creating more confusion and more problems for yourself. That's stupid. That means you're digging your own hole. You need a shovel. And I don't need that. What I need to do, I need to get this money. I got I got, I got, mouths to feed. I don't know about y'all. I got mouths to feed. And all y'all niggas out there don't want to interview me because I don't know. I'm not, any, I'm not from your city or anything like that. I don't got to be from your city to help people. You should help people if you're from the city that's from your city. Help people. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you, bro, that's what my platform is, is maybe hopefully, you know, I can build off of that and yeah. show everybody that we all can mess with each other and we all can make each other look good and get money together and eat together. And, you know, hopefully you don't got to be like that for long, but I mean, yeah. I'm rocking with you, man. I'm here with you. I see what well, you're absolutely. doing and I salute it because I see, I see what you're doing with the music and the podcast and Facts. not the podcast, but the talk show and everything. Yeah. Keep absolutely. doing it, bro. Yeah, make sure y'all check out my new, brand new spinoff, man. Coffee Talk, me and Franco, Mozzie and Franco. Make sure you tap in, man. You can find it also on the same YouTube channel, On The Rise TV, man. Subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell. And stop playing with me, man. I'm telling you. We discuss real topics because there's real people out here that got real problems. And I know a lot of you don't want to hear about it. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started On The Rise TV, I didn't, I didn't want to hear about niggas' personal issues. But sometimes you have to because God may put you in a position where you need to help people. So you have to sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling everybody to subscribe to On The Rise TV and see what we got coming next. And I got a couple videos coming. <laughs> you feel me? So tap in with me, man. Y'all already know what it is. Yeah. All right, one. One. Y'all really want to get a, a a real quick fix? Hey, yo, check this out. Right here. I'm just saying the liquor store closed. Good wet. 